Greetings, soul family. It's Teal here. Welcome to another video. Uh, today has been a lot. Just mentally and emotionally, like, when they hit you, they hit you at many, many layers. And you're just like, I'm trying, I need to breathe. Like, can we just slowly breathe in the chaos and not all at once? Come on, spirits. Like, we gotta chill a little bit, so... <laughs> But this is part of the process of evolution and growth, end of the day, and it has been something. And I also wanted, before we drop, jump into the pick a card reading, I wanted to talk about people that imitate services that aren't theirs. So whether it's from J.S. Garrett's workings or Disco DeMonaco, VK Jahanam, or me, when we create our services, depending on what they're doing, how they do, and what their approach is, there's a good chance they channeled and created it with the spirit. Like my astral links are something I do myself. Like nobody else offers this because it is a service I created with the spirits. Now there may be similar things or so forth, but they are not astral links. And it's crazy because today someone is like, oh yeah, because this other person went to them and um, or hasn't gone to them yet, but they're claiming they can do what I do. They've never been a client of mine. They don't know what astral links probably even are to begin with, but people see where others are being successful at. They see like, hey, this is money. Here's a potential. I'm going to say I can do this too, and they imitate it, and therefore you get a negative result. Some cases, this can be like a money ritual just gone bad. You just don't get anything versus it can be something more serious regarding your soul. When it comes to unique services, you go to the original creator for it period like i don't care like you go to the original for that um other stuff like tarot readings yeah you can jump around for that that's fine everybody does that you know there's certain things but like it's crazy when people have to imitate or copy because it shows their lack of skill because they don't know how to channel or create their own service or offer something everybody that's out here that's a serious practitioner doing shit they are constantly creating coming up with new ideas and the spirits have no need for us to copy or imitate because they're giving us things that we all can help each other why simultaneously building our community together and I just want to give out that warning like I've never taught anyone on how to do an astral link I'm not going to have no plan because you could literally link yourself to parasites to tricks of spirits and you it could you can literally destroy your soul like it's risky stuff and I when, when I did all this channeling the spirits taught me there were some serious protections this is part of my soul contract like there is a lot that goes into it that people have no idea about which also goes for other people that create their services so it's not to scare you it's just go to the original person now I know some people are like hey I don't want to spend that much money then don't get the service don't go to a copycat because you don't want to spend the money so I just wanted to put that announcement out here before we did that because that was part of my irritation today. I literally, well, plus I think the person was trying to scam me too, which was not something I appreciate. It wasn't going to work, but they're like, oh yeah, I paid. I'm like, you didn't pay me. And then they're like, oh, there were some issues with my credit card and then they didn't cancel the appointment. And then they apparently found someone else to do it and they weren't even going to tell me about it. Like it was messy. But that person had a bad feeling about too. It doesn't mean they're a bad person. It just means they got a lot going on and they really desperately want something, but they're not willing to do the work or put in the investment to do so, which probably means you're not ready to do it. You know what I mean? Like that's a pretty good sign that maybe you should step back and focus on yourself and do other things before you jump into this more serious type of workings that goes for anyone and any type of practice, whether you're hiring someone or doing it yourself. But we're going to get into the reading now so we can focus on that. This reading is going to be for fun. And this is to help you discover some of your natural gifts that may have derived from a past life. Um, it's going to be a very basic, simple, fun reading. The first one, if you feel yourself drawn to Egypt. So this is group number one. Egypt. Actually, I put that here. So why my phone is up instead tilted like I usually have it for YouTube because YouTube is going to like upload it weird and annoy me. But I want you guys to see this so you guys can see the cards. Group number two is Atlantis. So if you feel like you've had a past life in Atlantis, drawn to it. Um, you feel connection there. Love that come through. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> and the galactic so this is for the people that really feel their lineage goes beyond being human it is okay to be drawn mo to more than one card you probably have multiple lifetimes and there's a chance you had a lifetime with all of these or just one it is completely okay um also please know this is a message is for the collective so take what resonates and leave the rest behind if you want a more personal in-depth reading with me you can book through my website at otherworldlyreadingsbytila.com so let's start with group number one which is egypt love love ancient egypt like i live live for that i was so drawn to that pantheon those deities right when i started getting into the spiritual path so like i feel like i already connect with this group with these people that are in my fellow ancient egyptians so let's see what your messages are from your past life to help you with your gifts I love when my cards line up. You guys will see. This lines up so good. Alrighty. So we got this six of squirrels, the sands of time. That's so perfect for Egypt. You know, I feel like that's just, it just makes sense. And I'll explain everything. I'm just going to show you the cards first. The scribe. I wish this thing was a little bit bigger. <laughs> Caught in ruins. And then pass unknown, which is probably like not what you want to hear when you're trying to figure out your path and your purpose, but that's all going to be revealed. So don't worry. I got you. I got you. So right off the bat we are talking about the sands of time representing whether that picked this group i promise you you're already an older soul so go ahead and make sure you're including yourself into the galactic group <laughs> just putting that out there you are a very very old soul also with the sands of time it represents being able to harness energy that is more chaotic that sits outside of this dimensions of this reality so these are going to be the people that are ready to channel ready to work with spirits but not just any spirits but chaotic spirits spirits that have no forms nothing to um nothing like no names like you're literally connecting to stuff that is not going to be written like you're tapping into the unknown hello the path's unknown that's why that came through it's because you are meant to channel you are meant to receive you are meant to download information so this is you tapping into your mediumship side so people that pick this group y'all have an ability you can tap into this is part of your gift and part of your purpose into understanding that so really really fun there um the next thing we get is the scribe now this represents a lot of creative energy this is going to be the artists the writers um the people that make content create videos and so forth so the egyptians were really into their language into the hieroglyphics expressing themselves so it's not shocking that the scribe comes for to represent this group because you guys wanting to hold knowledge you're very drawn to the cult you're very interested in keeping the history things authentic you may find yourself over analytical or very much um you may find yourself arguing with people all the time because you question you guys are the ones that really you don't trust you're like yeah i like this but no uh, i don't really know and you have to really preserve at real knowledge and you're really big into expressing it so it's kind of funny because you guys want to verify and validate what you're receiving but at the same time you're receiving knowledge that's not backed up so you're writing and expressing and you really this group is really important that you all trust yourself trust your journey trust what you're getting because it's going to be very contradictory to your nature because you want to have evidence you want to see the pictures you want to see the videos you want to have this but here you are you're getting something that goes against your very core of what you want to believe and it puts you kind of in a sticky situation but it also gives you the potential to harness the knowledge of the ancients while bringing forth new knowledge and helping people with that and documenting that creating your own books or expressing that in some form of way 
Next, we have, we already did pass the no. Then we have caught in the ruins. So you guys are not the ones that like working regular jobs. It is a struggle for you because you don't like to be told what to do. You may even find yourself having a hard time keeping and stabilizing relationships because it doesn't satisfy unless this person is just as intellectually invested as you are and keeps you inspired and wanting you to go to the next steps because if they're not, then you feel trapped. You feel imprisoned very easily. Now, this is the thing about your gifts. So your gifts is your ability to create, to move forward, to shift and play out different things. You're not afraid. You will get out of your comfort zone. You will try different things. And if you don't, you're going to hate it because you're going to find yourself slipping into depression. You are meant to express yourself and you're meant to experience this world. Even the good, the bad, whatever brings you down, you want to pop back up because that's where it's going to keep your flow going. Um, holding down the same job for 20 years is going to really, really hurt you emotionally and mentally. So you may be a person that jumps around from jobs, but I recommend this type of group to consider self-employment. And if you're really spiritual, you can get in and do your own services because it's amazing and it will help you grow. I'm a big promoter of people creating their own businesses and so forth. That was group number one, Egypt. Now group number two, Atlantis. I hope that was right. I hope I'm in the right order. <laughs> Today's been a lot, guys. Don't judge me. So Atlantis, Atlantis, this goes prior to Egypt now. And this, so Atlantis is a really, really interesting space because the idea, the mythology is that it is a lost city buried underwater or was always underwater. And this is where the idea of mermaids come from and the lords and demons were said to rule over it, such as Belial. Uh, Atlantis was the point of time where there was no veil. So you were able to see all the spirits and connect with all the gods. Therefore, we had really advanced technology. Um, people were able to communicate a telepathic level we were fully awakened souls because we have not gone through traumas or anything yet and we were so very connected to the spirit world before it dissolved um, throughout the lifetimes so you guys may find yourself really drawn to the waters to the seas to mermaids uh, you may find yourself a very emotional person because it's your subconscious, right? The water represents the subconscious, the emotions. You may find yourself being very sensitive, um, an empath, telepathic. Um, this is going to be a very psychic group. So let's see what your messages are about your purpose and fun stuff like that regarding Atlantis. Mm. Oh my gosh, I just love when cards sync up. It is so awesome. I didn't do that. Did not do that. Alrighty. We're starting with the journey card. Look, there's water and ships and an ancient city there. I'm telling you. It works out so good. So good. I can't pick up these cards. Oh my lordy. Then we get the birth card. Which also lines because this would have been the first humans were Atlantis. Not the Garden of Eden. Of course. <laughs> the King of Keys. An initiation. Alrighty, so Atlanteans, Atlanteans, we are starting with journey and birth. So for many of you, this was your first human lifetime um, prior. So this would have definitely represented being human, though. like not animalistic, like you weren't a god or in your deity form here. If your soul was older than that, but you came into Atlantis as a human. 
as an advanced human though like you are very connected very aware and you will you came here with a purpose that's why there's this initiation card so you guys had a connection and you had a thing that you were meant to learn so you guys really need to tap into the kashik records really meditate channel because you have so much lost knowledge within yourselves you may find yourself getting random cool ideas you're like where did that come from and you have these weird impressions about ancient worlds or thoughts that draw you to it and you're wondering where it comes from it's from that source that still exists within you and you had a purpose like you didn't just come here to hang out you didn't come here to just play and enjoy life and whatever it takes like you came here with a strong intention and you were very much so forth devoted to the gods and goddesses of Atlantis like you were committed you didn't ask questions like you're like yeah you want me to do this I got you like you were so dedicated this is a very rare group not many people you'll find them like within like certain things where they say oh i still worship i'm more traditional yes these are going to be those ones these are the ones that worship that want to serve because you guys really know the spirits at an intimate level and you are happy because what they give you what they teach you you are happy to send it right back you are happy to devote so this is going to be the group that is very dedicated and your purpose is to help others connect with this lineage with these spirits help them understand bring them forth and um really come in there because you're going to be kind of like a light for people even if you don't feel like you're light you will be for other people like you have a way of communicating with them and making them feel better and more confident in what they do so this isn't speaking on your own perceptions of yourself we're not getting that deep this is just how you affect other people which makes you also very vampiric but not in a bad way which i don't think Cyvamp should have a bad rep anyways, but you are the ones that are wanting to take people's pain and you absorb it into you and so people don't have to hold on that or carry that and you're happy to do that because you have this nature to want to serve like it's a very core part of who you are and it's a beautiful gift because it's a very rare you have you're a very strong empath you're very compassionate and you're very much so connected with these spirits so you need to trust what you get this is not the mediumship group which you may have mediumship abilities this is the group though where you may work more with energies or you may receive visions i feel like you guys are going to be more the seers than the mediums but you can always be both and there's always exercises for it so um and then the king of keys you guys are the ones that have a lot of needing stability your foundations so when you guys go into your work um you may hear someone that just barely started and they're doing all this crazy shit and you're like what are you doing like yeah, i've been doing this for years and i haven't done that like you guys are the ones that will really study and take your time to do things but you will evolve at a very high level for that reason because you're going to integrate it all you're not wasting time on trying to do a bunch of things and then decide oh i don't want this like you are committed for life you got that time so you devote that time you guys are very much so invested into receiving and building your kingdom so you want to build on top of your thing not go from top and then crash so you guys are very you guys may organize or plan your workings really well you may find yourself doing more offerings than what most people would do and so forth you're very dedicated and you like to plan that out and work through because it makes you feel better like if you don't do something or you decide to slack you hate it and then you can be slackers at times but it drives you crazy like you actually blame yourself and feel less for it which please don't do that but because we all slack but you are the ones that will like put it hard onto yourselves. And that is the reading for my Atlanteans. Alrighty. Final group number three. Galactic. Hello, my star seeds. Now let's talk about star seeds because I have issues with the whole word because of the new age movement. So, star seeds, they have different, like, their things with their planets and so forth and whatever. I don't know much about that because I just don't really entertain too much about star seeds because it seems like a lot of light workers and a lot of misinformation. They have this light language now, and then they kind of, like, do the same things as Christians where they demonize other things, other beliefs, and they're like, all oh, light love, and it just makes me cringe. I don't know why I hate it, but I do. 
I, and I would never consider myself a light worker. And it's not even like I like light workers. It's just the whole making everything about light and love makes me cringe. I like, like you tell me like these spirits like, or these aliens like didn't have bad moods like ever. <laughs> it just seems like a lot, but I don't study too much about star seeds. So here is what I received regarding spirits that come from the galaxies, from the realms, and what I have got regarding it. Again, this is a little bit separate, but you may be a star seed, so take what you want with what resonates, end of the day. So, and before there was the world, before, well, maybe the world is like, it's not, no, but before there's humans on this planet, there was the realms, and there was the gods, the goddesses, the spirits, all of them forming, creating, and, you know, they had to put some souls into the Atlanteans. They had to create a space and had to draw on it before they can create their own life, and before some people, some people are 100% a human soul, and some are not. You guys are not. You guys are the ones that are forged in the realms, because, so what happens is there's deities that come in, gods and goddesses, and it's usually multiple, like, so you usually have multiple astral mothers, multiple astral fathers like it's not just one going in like you if you want to call them uncles and aunts and however you want it's fine but multiple spirits come together and forge your consciousness and putting different parts of themselves into you to create you to form that and then you descended and came into earth form so you are going to be my astral travelers you're going to be the ones that can shift consciousness real easy you may even find yourself drawn to hallucinogenics like shrooms or acid or doing ayahuasca because you loved to shift you don't want to be on this plane you don't need to be here you don't like it because your home is of the realms not of earth so you may find yourself feeling isolated or just not really comfortable here those are the reasons why now let's see what your purposes are regarding your regarding your path my lordy <laughs> This is being very clear with you guys. I mean, you're like so clear. I don't even know if I actually need to explain it. Like, wow. Okay. So I'm going to show you these cards and then I'll put them up and explain it. We got the Archangel Michael. I love that dude. The Architect. And yes, you can work with angels and demons both just to clarify. For the, before I get any comments regarding that, I will work with both. It's fine. The Queen of Roses. And the Ascent. Okay, so let's break this down. Archangel Michael. So many of you are going to be the Warriors. The protectors. So a lot of your guys' purpose is actually to help ensure um, your own protection, but other people's protection. Like you can do really good energy work. You may even find yourself being really good at Reiki or other type of energy work. It's going to come very natural to you. You guys will feel the need to protect or guard someone else, and you're very protective over like children or people that are more innocent. So you guys may be my... Um, protesters out there the ones that are really fighting for justice like you don't like when people are did like where they're taken wrong or something happens bad like if a woman is in a bad situation you're the one that's going to protect her not do anything bad or if you see something on the street you're the one that's more likely to give money to the homeless like you guys are very caring very compassionate and very protecting um and part of your gift is to help other people to tap into their own strength and really feel good about who they are and this is definitely something you want to make sure that you're in a good space for yourself because you guys will be the ones that overnourish everyone else and forget about yourself so make sure you don't forget about yourself like don't do that um and you guys are also the architects so this is where we get into back into the star seed thing into the indigo children and all of that you guys have a very set purpose you guys have all of you that are um from these type of realms 
have a soul contract with one or multiple deities that you need to fulfill and the architect you are building that whether you are destroying portals to or not destroying creating portals to help destroy the veil or maybe you're helping put out knowledge or information out there maybe you're creating new inspiring things maybe you're going to build a temple i don't know but you're the develops you're the creative you have tons of ideas you are constantly getting stuff like what you can do and what you can play with you need to act on it you need to initiate it or work with people that can help you make it happen because you have all of this energy all these ideas and you want to make a difference it's really important that you do because then you won't feel worthless because that part of you even though you over forget about yourself you also really feel satisfied in doing this kind of work and building other people up or helping the spirits. The next is the Queen of Roses and the Ascent. Again, helping people. You have a lot of love to give. You have a lot to offer this world. Um, you also are going to be naturally good at sex magic, which is not surprising because that's primordial energy you're tapping into. Working with the Kundalini, all of that is going to really help you with your path and ascension. You are not just meant to ascend, you are meant to also help other people ascend with their path. And that is your reading. I want to thank everyone for watching and hanging out with me tonight. And yeah, if you guys have any questions or just want to get feedback or let me know what group you're in, check out those comments and Infernal Blessings. <laughs>